Today we're gonna to be talking about the propane Dickinson heater that I have in my Kimbo. And there's a lot of pros, but also some cons to it at the same time. What's going on everyone? Back with another episode of Stuff and Things. I'm out here camping in the mountains. It's about nine o'clock in the morning and it is snowing pretty good. So I figured this would be a good time to talk about one of the things that I really love about the Kimbo Camper, and also at the same time, it has some pros and cons, and it's kind of finicky. This video may seem like I'm complaining about what we're gonna talk about, but it's really not that bad. It's just some information that I wanna share with you guys because when you're traveling around in a truck camper like this in the winter time, this is gonna be some good information to know. So let's head inside. So this right here is the Newport Dickinson propane heater. This is fed by a 30 pound propane tank which sits in this box and you access it from the outside of the camper. It's got a really cool construction to it. It really matches the Kimbo and the way the Kimbo was designed, they allow for a lot of piping here which is essentially the intake and exhaust at the same time. I see some other campers out there mounting these really close to the ceiling and the intake and exhaust is really short which makes this thing not as efficient. So this is probably the best application outside of like a sailboat for one of these heaters and the operation of it is pretty simple. On the right hand side here we have the gas. So if I press and turn that will turn up that flame can press and turn it back to low and it will actually click into place. It has an electric fan with an on off switch and then the knob on the left controls the fan speed. So if I crank that up, it's gonna be blowing a lot of heat. Now when it comes to the application of a heater like this in a small space like the Kimbo truck camper, this excels in a lot of areas because all of the flame from the propane is contained inside of this glass door right here. Generally, if you're using something like a buddy heater inside of a camper like this or a tent, when you're burning propane, it creates condensation and that would make the entire interior of this camper wet. This, however, has everything internalized. It intakes and exhaust through this tube here and then you have the fan which basically just blows the hot air away from this and it heats up the whole cabin of the camper. So far this thing has been insanely efficient. I have not filled the 30 pound propane tank since I picked up this camper. I've owned it for a little over six months now. I've probably spent close to 30 nights or so in the camper and I'm running this heater quite frequently as well. There's just something about having a live flame right here while you're sleeping and you can see it from the bed that's just super cozy and it really ties this whole camper together. I absolutely love this thing. However, there are some downsides. So let's flash back to last night when it was about 10 o'clock at night and I'm gonna show you how to get this thing started. All right guys, getting colder outside. It is currently 35 degrees going down to about 20 degrees tonight. It's currently 62 degrees in the camper. So we're gonna get this Dickinson fired up. You gotta start by unscrewing this knob on the door and the threads on it are super long for some reason, I guess for safety. Once you get that open, it swings like that. I have the propane outside already turned on. So now all I have to do is get a lighter in here to ignite the flame. I need to press and hold the gas knob, turn it up a little bit until you can kind of hear it coming out. And there we have it lit. Now I need to hold this gas in the on position. That way the propane keeps coming out. I'm leaving the door open a little bit. That way some oxygen can get in there. And once this whole tube above here starts heating up, it can then suck in its own oxygen. And I don't need to have this door open all the way. If I slowly let out the button, as you can see, it will go out. So I will light this one more time. Now I need to hold this gas on for a little while, probably about 30 seconds to a minute. Now I can slowly start closing the door and if the flame is about to go out, you can kind of hear it just like that. Let's try again. So now you can see as I close the door, still holding the gas, it's remaining lit 
Now let's slowly let off of the gas. Okay, now we should be good. I'm not gonna tighten this door all the way just yet until it is lit for a little while. Might actually turn the gas up a little bit, press and turn. You can hear that sort of popping sound. That's how you know it's starting to work. Now I can twist this, twist and twist and twist until it's tight. And now it's good. I can adjust my flame, turning it all the way up until it stops. But for now, I'm just gonna keep it back on low. Fan works great. Flick that to the on position and then adjust the speed of the fan. All the way up, you can hear, makes some pretty good white noise. I'm gonna turn this down to about a quarter. That way it doesn't get super hot in here right away. Now we're currently at 61 degrees in the camper and I'm gonna set a timer and see how long it takes to heat up. About 35 minutes later, and we are up 10 degrees, 71 degrees in here, and it feels really nice. That is with the gas still set to low. I turned up the fan a little bit, so I have it about halfway now, and feels good in here. So I'm going to turn this off for now, probably going to go to sleep pretty soon, and then hopefully I can sleep through the night and it stays pretty warm in here, which it will for a while. If I do wake up and it feels too cold in here, I'm gonna come over here and light this up and show you guys one of the downsides. If it's not in the middle of the night, it will definitely be tomorrow morning, so I will check in in a second. So the inside of the camper stayed pretty warm all throughout the night, and of course I have some nice bedding over here to keep me warm as well. It wasn't until about 5.30 this morning that I woke up feeling pretty cold and the temp inside dropped quite a lot. Of course, it is snowing outside as you guys saw in the beginning. So I decided it was time to get up, come over here and start up the propane again. Now the problem with lighters when it is almost 30 degrees inside of the camper, these things don't work. They don't work very well at all. So I've been through this whole pain like three or four times and I decided it's finally to change things up, which is why I'm making this video now. So I switched out to matches, and this is 300 wooden matches, strike them on the box, and that will definitely start this thing no matter how cold it is out here. You don't have to worry about butane lighters and other things not working. There were times where I spent probably 10, 15 minutes trying to get this thing started with a little clicky lighter, and it sucks, especially when it's freezing and you're trying to go back to bed. So I got this thing back up and running and I haven't turned it off. I went back to bed at around probably 5.30, woke up at probably eight o'clock, it's now nine o'clock, and I kept this thing running on low the entire time. It is currently a very nice 72 degrees in here and I love it. Now one of the other downsides and probably the main thing is that this has no real temperature regulation. If I were to leave this thing on low and it's not super cold outside, like last night, if I would have left it on from 10 o'clock at night all the way until now in the morning, it would probably be close to like 85 degrees in here. Just not comfortable at that point. The best way I found to run this thing is on low with the fan on about a quarter of its speed, so probably right about there. That way it doesn't get too hot in here too quickly, and you can run it for a few hours like this without it getting too hot. Because there's no temperature regulator though, if I were to crank this gas up or have that fan cranking on high, it would get hot in here really quickly. And if you're trying to sleep, you're gonna wanna wake up and turn this thing off. So no temperature regulation and a little bit finicky with getting it started are the two main cons that I'm thinking about. However, like I said, I absolutely love this thing. It really ties the whole camper together. It really makes it feel like a little cabin in the back of your truck. So those are my thoughts on the Dickinson propane heater. If you guys have any questions on this, let me know in the comments down below. I'm sure I'll fill you guys in again in the future because I think I'm gonna add a little pressure regulator thing to the tank so I can actually see how much propane is left. And I don't know when this thing's gonna run out. I felt the tank the other day and it still feels pretty damn full. Now, if you guys have any questions on this thing, feel free to ask some questions in the comments down below. I'll try to answer anything as best as possible. And if you are new to the channel, consider clicking subscribe because I make new videos every week and there's gonna be a lot more content revolving this camper in the future. So that is all. Thank you guys for watching. I'll talk to you in the next one.